In this video, we'll go over how to create a PowerPoint file directly from RStudio. Instead of saving images or plots, we can directly include them in the R Markdown and then create a PowerPoint from there. So let's see how to do it. Click on File and then New File and then R Markdown. So it is going to ask whether we want to install required packages. Simply say yes. In the window that opens, select Presentation. We can give a title, author name, and then we can select PowerPoint. It will open a template. Simply remove everything that you have from R Markdown onward. For the first slide, we can use hash two times. And then we can add a chunk. On Mac, it is Command Option I. Below this video, we have this link. If you click there, it takes you to Sports Analytics Codes. So let's choose first one, Basketball Short Charts. And I'm going to simply copy and paste this. So this is going to create a short chart for Steph Curry. So let's run this. So you can see this short chart is created. Next, I want to add one more slide. We can use two hash symbols and then give a title. We can add a chunk. We'll use last four lines from the previous code. Copy, paste and change the name of the player. So this creates a short chart for Kevin Durant. Now let's say on the next slide, you want to create some kind of summary and include some bullet points. So I'm just going to name them one, two, three. And suppose the final slide is simply questions. And suppose on this page, I also want to add an image. So I can use this curly bracket. So I have this file called one.png. So I'm going to use that. I also want to make sure that this image is available in the current directory. So I'll go to Tools and Browse. And the file that I'm looking for is in Downloads. So I'm going to select Download, click Open, Apply, and say OK. We can also save this file before we create the PowerPoint. I'm going to name this PowerPoint. So now we are ready to knit the file. So if you click on this drop down next to knit, one of the options is knit to PowerPoint. Allow. So it creates this PowerPoint, which obviously can be customized. It included the output that we got by running the package. This looks OK. And the summary, obviously, we can customize. We did not get the picture that we wanted. So let's go back and check and do some corrections. I have removed any spaces here. I'm going to move this library to the previous chunk. Now let's knit again. So we have this presentation like this now. The title and the picture. Title in the picture. And then one can write summary. This is the last slide where I included a picture too in the background. Such pictures can be included on any slide simply by using background dash image equals name of that file. So this was a quick way to show you how to create a PowerPoint directly from RStudio. Studio.